Hey, what's up guys? It's John from The Lucky Needle. It's uh, Friday, November 19th. We're taking a little break from working on the shop today. Uh, where we got invited to an uh, open house at Albright Supply. So finally, I'm actually close enough driving distance where I can go out and actually meet them. I'm really excited because they've been supporting the Lucky Needle for about five years now, and I've only ever gotten to talk to Chris and Tori over the phone and on email. I've never actually met them in person. So we're gonna go out there, we're gonna meet them. I'm hoping that Chris can maybe give us a little tour of the, sh the facility and talk a little bit about Albright's and just have a good time and meet some new people. So we're, uh, we're driving through Mississippi right now and we're just a couple hours away. So we'll keep you guys posted on the trip and bring you along with us. Hey everybody, this is Chris from Albright. It's finally great to meet this guy in person instead of just talking to him on the phone. He's gonna be nice enough to give us a little tour around the facility and kind of show you what they do here today. All right, come on. Huh? Yeah. Alright. Basically, you get, it tells him where to go, he scans the barcode, that tells him what he needs, okay? And we're automated. So everything's electric tables. We don't have any manual tables. Everything's got automatic cutters on them. He says, okay, I got to have three yards. So when he gets his three yards, he says, okay, I got three yards cleared. Since there's nine left on the piece, three on that piece, print me two new labels. And then you just put it right out back on the roll. Put it right back on the roll. The first one that comes out is the one that goes on the piece he just pulled. It tells you what it is and which bin it goes in. This is the new home for this one. And he'll carry it back and have to rescan it back in. And you have to scan all the labels to make it work. You yeah. can't just print them and not put them back on. You basically have to scan them. Yeah. And he'll scan the roll wherever it goes back in at. He'll scan that bar. He'll go up and scan the shelf. See, everything has a home. Mm -hmm. This is the home. And this is what lives in that home. Okay? The home never changes. Yeah. But the ideal is the stuff that's good is reachable and close to the tables. Yeah. The junk is at the far end. Okay? So we've cut our walking, what we used to do in the good old days, by 50%. Because oh. we don't have to walk as far. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then see, so he puts this back in the, in the thing. Scans the bin and he's through with it. And it says, you want another one? He says, yes. And this is all going out for shipping? Yeah. And then over here, and you bring it up, and you scan your piece, and then it gets you, tells you how it's going, prints another label, okay. and this label tells the shipper what he's got to do to it. And then, he does, there's no retype and no re nothing. Once it comes in, especially like the internet, it's all automatic all the way through, one wow. end to the other. That's why I always get my stuff the very next day I order it from you. Yeah. <laughs> so then he'll pack it up, take it in the box, comes through back here. If it's, if it's something that we heat shrink, it goes to the machine. If not, it's just a box. One yard, by the time you buy the box, by the time you buy this plastic, what they charge us extra for plastic, it's, that's about a nickel cheap to put in the box. We got a box on a yard piece. Drop in the box, 
sit it together. We, we, we've done the math on a lot of this stuff multiple times. Yeah, I bet. And it comes back through. And it's smiling. So he just scans it and prints out all his labels. All he's really got to do is put link with and hot with anything. Other than that, everything else is automatic. He scans it and says, oh, this is so-and-so. It's going here. What's the link with and hot? Because it's got a, so it's got a scale. It's got the way it's tied to it. So, it just prints nice and ready to roll. I can say nothing stacked at all. Got a home, all got a thing. Yeah. Fiber up on top, out of the way. Yeah. We try to run a tight ship. We're and we're we're not pick and span plain, but we're plain. We play every day. You're organized though. And you know, you're organized and headliner the headliner lives in these two aisles here, strictly for a size issue. Because uh -huh. they won't fit the little rack that's got a bit bigger. Yeah. It lives here so you get something in H and I, you know it's headliner pretty much. But other than that, like I said, it all constantly moves. Mm -hmm. This used to be completely original here at one time. Okay. But when the system started moving everything, it says, I don't like this idea. So it just rearranged it to, like I said, close to the table. Gotcha. So some of the original's still here down low, some of it's not. This is, uh, this is all the auto original yeah. stuff part of your website? Right. Detroit number stuff? Yeah. And then it's just more inventory back here. Go to the high base back wow. here. <laughs> and when you guys originally started, was it the building this size, or did have you grown over the years? That was the original building when oh, you come okay. through the door. Those two rooms, twenty thousand square foot. This is ten thousand high bay here. And then we just, you know, we got it stacked in here, as you can see. Floor to ceiling. That's the reason for the sales. Trying to get rid of some of this crap. Yeah. And we and I, we bought so many jobbers in the last ten years. We uh -huh. started in 08, I guess that'd be fourteen years. Mm -hmm. And we bought about six or eight. Oh, okay. And it's just stuff you pick up from like the last stuff came either from A and A in Glenwood, Arkansas, or from Keaton mm -hmm. uh, Supply in uh, Arlington, Texas. That's the last two we bought. So, and that's where a lot of the original. Stuff came from? No, the original all we've all had. Oh, we've been okay. in the original business since the 90s. Okay. We got in it as Headliner was dying. Uh -huh. We used to be one of the largest Headliner suppliers in the Mid-South, well, probably in the country. Uh -huh. And we sell a ton of Headliner. A ton of Headliner. I mean, we sell a lot today, but we really sold a lot back in those mm -hmm. days. And it just, they GM fixed the problem, Ford fixed the problem. Yeah. And we lost about $100,000 a year in sales three oh. years in a row. Oh. By the no fault of our own, they just quit falling out. Yeah. Back in the late 90s. So you had to reposition so, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. You know, back when you could get them done for 50 bucks. Was that when you, because you, your father started this, right? In the 40s, in yes. In the 40s? Was after, he after still World War II. running it at that point? Huh? Was he still running it at that point? Uh, I started in 77. I was running it at that point. Oh, wow. Because I was fixed to say, I took over right before Poppy came, and Poppy's been here about 28 years. Okay. So yeah, she started the old building before yeah. we moved out here. Perfect. Well, you guys are doing something right. Yeah, we try <laughs> hard. We try hard. I mean, you know. Yeah. Well, I swear you guys are the only Wall Street dealer that is even operating on the 21st century these days. Touch you where every piece is, okay, and that's just the way it is. So if you want, if you, and, and if you're getting a yard and a half piece, and the smallest piece we've got's one and three quarter, mm -hmm. guess which one it's going to give you. 
It's going to send you to this one. It's not going to send you to a full roll. It's going to try to get rid of that little piece first. Yeah. And and now there's a yard and a half, so it actually sends you to that one. If that's what you ordered. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like that on everything. So you, you save a lot of money on waste that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Waste has got cut down considerably. Uh, type me in a current sales order number. Just guess at one, as long as you get close. Oh. I don't care what it is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it tells you when the pick started, tells you when the pick was completed, tells you who picked it, and where's the roll when it got through. Mm -hmm. So if you if you call me back tomorrow and say, oh, by the way, I need another yard of that because I screwed up and it needs to match exactly, I could go back and look and see if I've actually got that piece. Or this doesn't match my sample book. This isn't what I ordered. Uh, let me go check. That's how we can check. I'll check the roll. roll. Yeah, because we can go back. You, you pull an so. order. We can look it up and see which roll it came off of and go back and check the roll if something's wrong. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're just leaving Albright's right now, and it was a really great visit. Um, we ended up chatting with Chris and Tori for probably almost an hour and a half, two hours. Very nice people. Chris is a really nice guy. Lots of stories and knowledge of the industry, and uh, I'm really glad to have gotten to meet him. I'm super, super impressed with how well run his facility is, and. He's got, you know, custom programming to help them organize and pull all their fabric so they know exactly what they're and doing. The, stuff, so. the other thing is it eliminates on waste, and I think that's also why their orders ship out so quickly. If any of you have ever ordered from them, you get your order in the mail, you know, very fast. Here, when I where I live in Alabama, when I order something from them, it's on my doorstep the next day. I think all of the effort and everything that he's put in over the years to streamline his business is really inspiring and it was really cool to see. So um, we're actually headed out to go out to dinner with him for tonight and uh, yeah, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just wanted to bring you along for the ride. All right, if you like that video and you wanna see another one, make sure you click to your right here. And don't forget about all the courses we have available at the Lucky Needle. Click here in the corner to get more information. And don't forget to subscribe right here. Mm -hmm.